Well, there is something new here at Performance Medicine, and we are here to get the scoop. We are joined by our daytime doc, Dr. Tom Rogers, and thanks for having us out today. It's always a pleasure. Always something new going on here. Well, we try to keep up. <laughs> so this has to do with food allergies. Right, right. Really food sensitivities. Um, in doing a lot of weight loss metabolic analysis of people, we find that a lot of people are not truly allergic to a food. When you're allergic to a food, it means you're going to have a serious reaction, maybe a life-threatening reaction like to peanuts mm -hmm. or seafood. Um, you've seen those, and those people need to carry an EpiPen around sure. with them to save their lives. But this is a different type. That's an IgE-based food allergy. What we're testing for is an IgG food sensitivity. There's a difference. Okay, and food sensitivity, does that mean that it's food that maybe just doesn't agree with you as much as other foods? Well, it, it means that you don't tolerate that particular type of food, that it causes inflammation or an autoimmune response in your body. Mm -hmm. And as we've talked about before, inflammation causes disease. It also causes you to feel bad. Yeah. So. What I've found through the years is that even on myself, I can't tolerate um, three basic things. Number one is sugars. Mm -hmm. Number two is glutens. Okay. And the third one is dairy. Um, but if you, in researching different companies that do these food sensitivity testing, we've come up with a great one called the All Cat Test. Okay. And what it does is give you varying levels of foods that you should really stay away from, and those are. Red, they're, hi they're highlighted in red, foods that you have kind of an intermediate sensitivity to, they're highlighted in yellow, and the ones in green you're fine with. So it's a real, and I've been through a million of these things, mm -hmm. There's a, it's a really useful test for somebody to look at and find out that, hey, you know, I, I shouldn't eat wheat. My body gets inflamed when I eat wheat. And of course, like you were talking about, some of that too can lead to weight gain. Weight gain is usually a result of inflammation and then mm -hmm. any problem that I see that um, you really can't figure out a reason why you have that like irritable bowel syndrome or right. spastic colon, migraine headaches, um, fibromyalgia, arthritis, um, any of those kind of inflammatory conditions that nobody knows what to do with they right. can put a label on it but a lot of times I'll start with a food sensitivity blood test okay. that usually you can file it on your insurance and it tests for over 400 different kinds of foods and it's weird because it, it's almost like our bodies crave the foods that we're most allergic to hmm. so you may find out something about yourself that you didn't know why you felt bad so it's a simple blood test. Simple blood test. And from this blood test, when you get your results, it will outline the types of foods that are good for you, that are okay for you, and that are not so that good. That you should avoid. And everybody's different. I mean, you may be able to tolerate a food that I can't. So that's why weight loss is really very complicated. Mm -hmm. It's not simple. There was a, an editorial in our local newspaper the other day that really irritated me that um, it was it said our country has an obesity problem. People just need to buck up and, you know, get tough mm -hmm. and, and lose the weight. Well, that was the wrong thing to put in the paper because obesity is really not a, a personality right. disorder or laziness. It's a metabolic problem that has to be figured out. And if you tell that obese person that, you know, you, or you think they're just lazy, they're not exercising enough, or they're lazy, they're, they're not. There's other things going on within their body that are getting them to that point. There's a complex metabolic disorder that they have. And some of it may be food allergies, too. So, so this could be a step in the right direction. I hope so. Okay, so you offer this blood test right here at your office. Right here at the office. I tell you what, that would be really interesting. Yeah, we may have to get you down and stick you. Yeah, all that with a simple blood test. Well, interesting information, Dr. Rogers. Thank you so much for having us out. Thank you. For more, you can always check out their website, performancemedicine.net.